So what I thought we would do is take you guys on a cool trail ride. Um, I think for my 11 year old daughter, this is a great sled for her, but this is Braxton, he's my 10 year old. I think he's a little more advanced. He's ready for something bigger. Uh, in fact, I let him ride one of our Pro S 600s. He's a very safe rider, which is awesome. So what we'll do is we'll go do some rough trails and some smooth stuff as well. I'll show you guys some fields, how does it cross roads. This is a 200cc four stroke from Yamaha. Um, obviously the same exact thing from Articat. We can kind of go over the controls real quick. We've got the handbrake, uh, kill switch on and off, the throttle. And then under here, we've got the pull rope. This is the electric start model. So we can just turn the key on ours. And then our choke is just right here. And then uh, the fuel goes in here. Uh, we put an hour meter on ours. Uh, I think I did this end of last year. So since then, the kids have put 29.3 hours on the little sled buzzing around the shop here. So one of the extras that we did, we put a spare belt up here. I've got two straps holding it and I left some length to the straps. That way if I needed them on the trail, we also did a little storage bag up here. And then I also put the taller windshield on it. So it comes up quite a bit higher and I can always grab the, the stock one at the end of the video to show you guys the difference. I just wanted more wind protection for the kids. And I also bought the Yamaha rear tunnel bag, but I don't really love the way it fits on there. Again, I can set that on there later for you guys and show you. I don't know, wasn't really pumped with it, so I didn't put it on. And then sometimes we run these hand gauntlets, so. It's, uh, it's been really cold here in New York. So like last night was a negative 11 when we got back. We didn't take this sled with us last night, but um, we run these on there for the kids too. They're easy to do. You just fold them over Velcro them right over top of the handlebar here. So on top of the hand warmers that it has and the high beam, low beam, the uh, hand gauntlets work really good to keep their hands warm. One little side note before we take off, um, we had uh, our choke cable so this is where you pull your choke and you can see how down here maybe i'm not quite so well on the gopro it's turning this little knob on the top of the carburetor where this adjuster uh the cable comes through and this little lock nut this whole assembly came off the carburetor brand new sled pretty much when we got it so we had to tack weld uh, a washer on the bottom of this to to reassemble it otherwise i was gonna have to spend 140 bucks on the yamaha carburetor so wasn't super pumped on that, um, but we were able to fix it with just uh, doing some quick tack welding. So little side note, our adjuster on the uh, on the choke failed. So other than that, it's been pretty bulletproof. So this is a cold engine. Uh, sled hasn't been run yet. We did have it in the heated garage, um, but it's been outside for like 20, 30 minutes now. So it's not, not taking advantage of that at all. So turn the, the kill switch up. And then this is the electric start model, so. Pretty lucky, we can just turn that. So we always like to let it warm up a little bit. Here's what the headlight looks like. Um, I did take some footage of me following him on my cell phone. I'll throw that in this video too. It was at night and you guys can kind of see how did the headlight work on the trail as well. Uh, you can adjust it high beam, low beam here.
what do you think of the snow scooter, Braxton? Do you like it? Yeah, it's fun. Now you've ridden, you grew up on a 120 and obviously that was a lot smaller and it wasn't trail legal. Yeah. And then last year we bought like an Indy 340 for a couple weeks and you spent some time on that. This probably turns a lot better than that though, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it's like an edge chassis. Sure. Uh, it's a it's a bigger, it's a full size sled, but it was just heavy steering, you know? Yeah. This seems like you can zip through the trails. Yeah. I think we were averaging like 15 miles an hour in the tight stuff and then when it got faster, I kept looking down, it was like mid twenties. So you're pretty tall for a 10 year old, but it seems like you have pretty good room on there, right? Like, yeah, like your hands fit good on the handlebars. Seems the brake's easy to get to. Yep. How about the throttle? It's not hard for you to control after a long time. You ride a lot. So maybe some other kids that don't ride every day might, might think, but I think the throttle pull is easy. It's not a hard throttle. And we don't always use our thumb, we use the pocket, right? Yeah, we use like... the pocket. We're not actually using the thumb when we ride. When it's cold, how do the hand warmers actually work? They work good. It was nice though. Well, it's been, okay, so right now, we just got back. And the phone says that it's 16 degrees out right now. And last night it was negative 11. So we had hand gauntlets on last night. Yeah. Even though we didn't ride this slide, we still had hand gauntlets on. Because even the Axis, as good as their hand warmers are, you can still get some cold hands. So, so yeah, that was a snow scoot. Give you guys a little bit of footage of it. I think it's a good trail sled. I just think, you know, if your kid's a little more advanced, um, it, you know, for us cruising along at 15 miles an hour is okay, but, so you've ridden an Axis 600. Last night we put, you put 30 miles on an Axis, right? Yeah. And we could cruise at like 35, comfortably safe on our side of the trail. But then in the fields, we could do 45, 50 if we could see where we were going. So for you and, and maybe some kids that have ridden a lot, it's tough maybe to spend the money on one of these because you can go right to something that's bigger. bigger. You know, I, I, yeah. we'd love to get one of those Articat 400s, those new two strokes. And I guess Yamaha's same thing. It'd be cool to get our hands on a 400 and do some demos because yeah. we obviously don't need to be riding a 600. That's not the goal. It's just something that's a little bit easier to ride. Yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, we have a friend that picked up two of those things this year. Maybe we can get Matt to <laughs> let us borrow one to see what they're like. Because I don't think everybody needs a 600. And I mean, I only ride 600s and we like to cruise right along. So, but yeah, this is the new Yamaha Snow Scoot. This one is a 2019, but it's, it's the same as, you know, the 2022. So, if you guys like the video, please subscribe to our channel. We do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll do like a video on uh, on like fuel economy, like how, how far can you go? And we'll do one like on an oil change to show people how to do that as well. So again, thanks for tuning in. This is Jared and Braxton from 3Cs and we'll catch you later. Okay, so this is the part number for the taller windshield. And we can kind of lay it up on here. It's easy to change out. You just have the six push rivets. There's three on each side. So no real tools needed for that. And this is the, the shorter one set up against it. And if we hold it there, I can show you guys like an exact height. It's four and a half inches taller right in the center. And I guess it's probably gonna carry throughout. So I think it's important for the kids to stay warm. And that's the taller windshield upgrade. So this is that rear storage bag that I've yet to install. These look like supports to keep it standing up on the inside. A couple of grommets and some rivets down in the packaging there. And I'm assuming, because I haven't done it yet, we got to drill and put some rivets in here for some clips. And it looks like it's going to fit great. I just haven't installed it yet. We haven't needed to, you know, have them carry anything. So we've got the storage bag here. And my wife sleds the Adventure, so it's got the storage bags on there. So this is that rear storage bag, just so you guys can see it.